You know that idea you keep circling back to? The checklist, the guide, the workshop? You've thought about turning it into a digital product, but then the doubts creep in. What if nobody buys it? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to know before you ever create a thing if your idea is worth turning into a digital product. Not by guessing, not by asking your friends, but by validating it with real people in real places who are already looking for solutions. And the best part? You can do this in just a few hours, even if you don't have an audience yet. Hi, I'm Kristen Hess. I help aspiring entrepreneurs over 40 build simple, scrappy online businesses they can grow in their spare time. You know, I spent 30 years in corporate marketing and now I use everything that I've learned to help people like you build income streams that actually fit their life. Quick favor before we dive in. If you want more videos like this, tap the like button and subscribe. It tells YouTube this is the kind of content you want more of and it helps other new entrepreneurs find it too. And a heads up, my $7 shortcut to selling your first digital product launches August 9th. But if you want early access, the waitlist is open now. You'll find the link right below this video in the description. So let's talk about your product idea because this is where everything starts and where too many people waste weeks or even months building something that doesn't sell. Let's make sure you're not one of those people. All right, let's start with a quick mindset shift, okay? Validation doesn't mean asking people if they like your idea. It means finding proof that people already want the outcome that your product delivers. That distinction matters. You're not trying to convince people to want your product. You're trying to spot the demand that's already out there and line your idea up with it. So how do you do that? Well, let's say your idea is a digital planner for busy moms who want to simplify mealtime. Sounds helpful, right? But helpful isn't the same as sellable. So go to Google and type in meal planning for busy moms. Notice what pops up here. Are there blog posts, forums, Pinterest pins, YouTube videos? And here's the key part. You wanna to check to see if those results are active. And what I mean by that is people are still engaging with that topic today, not five years ago. So here's how to tell if the topic is active or not. You wanna look for recent published dates, um, posts or videos from the last six to 12 months. You wanna watch for Google autocomplete suggestions because these show real-time search behavior. Check for a people also ask box, um, another sign that people are looking for help. And notice if there are sponsored ads or shopping results because if businesses are paying to show up, you know people are buying. These are all signs that people are actively searching for solutions related to your idea. You wanna start typing in different versions of your idea and see what Google auto-completes. You've just tapped into free market research. No surveys, no guesswork. And if you've already tried this or you're about to give it a go, drop a comment below and share your product idea. I read every single comment and I'd love to cheer you on or help you refine it if you're feeling stuck. So next, we wanna see if people are already spending money on similar solutions. Go to places like Etsy, Amazon, especially Kindle eBooks, Pinterest, you wanna click into the paid results, even Google Shopping, and type in keywords related to your idea. Are there digital products for sale? Are people buying them? Read the reviews of those products. What do people love? And what do they wish the products had that they don't? Because that gap, that's your opportunity. This isn't copying. You're spotting what's working and where your idea can offer something even better. And if your product solves a problem, then somewhere right now, people are out there venting about it. Head to Facebook groups, Reddit, YouTube comment sections, Quora, threads, look for repeated frustrations, DIY workarounds, or I wish someone would just make this kinds of posts. You don't have to jump into every conversation, just observe and take notes and capture the actual words that they're using to describe their problem because those are gonna be gold when you go to write your content. If people are talking about it and struggling, your solution has a place. 
Now, let's say you've done the research and the signs are promising. Well, let's test it without building the whole thing first. So here are two easy ways that you can do that. The first option is to create a freebie and you just wanna make a super simple version of your idea, maybe a checklist or some kind of one page resource and you wanna offer it as a freebie in exchange for their email. If people are downloading it, that's your sign. You're attracting the right kind of audience. The second option is to make a wait list. So instead of building the product right away, you create a short description of what your product is and you let people join that wait list. And you can do this easily with Store, which lets you set up wait lists, collect emails, and even deliver your digital products all in one place. Now with either option, you now have a targeted list of people to upsell your product to. Stan is what I use in my business and I'll drop my affiliate link in the description if you want to check it out for a 14 day free trial. That's how you flip the script from maybe this will work to people are already waiting for this. That is next level empowering. Plus it's a clear sign you can start building. And if you're ready to go from idea to finished product without the overwhelm, the $7 shortcut walks you through exactly how to do it in one weekend. It's low cost on purpose because I want you to get that first win. Build your confidence and take action. It launches on August 9th, but if you join the waitlist today, you'll get early access. The link is in the description below. Let's say your idea flops. No one signs up, no one clicks. That's not a failure, that's information. This is why we validate before we build anything, because you can adjust, you can tweak your topic, you can narrow your audience, or you can reposition the outcome. Every no brings you closer to the version that gets a yes. And I promise you, when you find an idea that clicks, you'll feel the momentum shift. If you're wondering what to do after you validate your idea, how to actually start your business while still working full time, Watch this video next. It's how to start a business while still working full time, my slow burn strategy. It shows you exactly how I structure my week to keep growing without burning out. And next week we're diving into must have number two for building passive income that actually works, uh, which is a system that delivers your product without you being there. <laughs> because passive income only works if you're not doing all the delivery by hand every single time. So to your success, I'll see you there. If this saved you time or gave you clarity, please hit like and subscribe. I've got a lot more videos coming and they're all made with you in mind.